Hey everyone and welcome to The Learning Ladder. Today I'm going to do a review of Beowulf Language Arts and Grammar. I'm also going to show you how I store them and how I use them and then some of the books that we've really enjoyed from this particular curriculum. So I keep all my particular uh, schedule and everything else in my little teacher binder. This is not just all Beowulf stuff, I've got other things in here too. So the Language Arts program runs for 33 weeks so you've got a few weeks leeway there which I really like and it's set out in a schedule like this there's also an online version if you don't want to print it of the actual schedule um, and there's also an excel one as well as an excel document too if you'd like to use it that way online which I really like the options because then it gives you something for everybody your paper people I like paper um, or your online versions so it's set out in a week 1 to 33 basis at the top it will always have your topic so for example this is obviously week 1 so it's introduction to grammar and the four types of nouns and then it'll have a day 1 through 5 schedule I tend to we tend to do a, a four day homeschool we always leave the fifth day either for field trips or um, for our unit studies if we're not going on a field trip that week so I tend to condense it but she'll give you a layout of each day if you want to follow her plans so for example She'll say workbook, which is your grammar papers, which I'll show you in a minute, tell you what pages, it'll say what activity that goes along with it. Um, in, in the actual teacher guide, there were some printables that you could print off in addition. So she'll tell you what pages there are for those ones, if it's applicable. She'll tell you what book that you need to read for your grammar and um, also any extra activities that you can do. So for example, there are some online things here that you can go and click on. Um, some of them are things things for you to print, some of them are videos, and I really like that because um, if you know of any of my products that I like to make, I always include video links in them, um, in the di digital ones anyway, because I think it's such a great way to bring everything to life, make it interactive, and websites and things, so she does that too. Um, here's some videos again, then we've got what writing books you're going to do that week, so for example for this week it's the time capsule, and then let's draw a story, and then she'll um, specify anything else so for example this one week it was to start your Q&A a day for kids because obviously it's the first week of the year what page in your poetry book you're supposed to be reading and then this is um, English from the roots up that's for Greek and Latin roots if you were doing it it'd tell you which route you're looking at and then if you were doing the spelling program it tells you to mark off when you've done your copywork and dictation. I didn't use their spelling program. I was using um, Phonetic Zoo, but this is actually free and it does look really good. So that's an option for you. It's not, they haven't made it. They've just provided the link to the actual resource for you to use. Uh, you can tick off their free reading. Um, you can put what read aloud you're doing if you want to. I didn't bother writing that in because I keep records of that elsewhere. And then in this particular, um, curriculum there was also a book if you wanted to do some additional reading yourself that you could do it's called it's called uncovering the logic of english and then if you were doing it she'd tell you what books to, what chapters to read in that book it has nothing to do with the curriculum in terms of it's not required for teaching the curriculum it's just an additional um resource you could get if you're wanting to upscale that type of thing or understand what you were doing in terms of teaching english language and then to, there are always some notes here um, to consider so I always keep a little clip on where we're up to and at the time I'm filming this video um, we did week 17 so this was on prepositions again it'll tell you your activities, um, what review sheets you're going to need if there are any, what books to read, um, what printables you can print off if you want to, videos to watch, then you've got your different re writing resources so we've got the time capsule, let's draw a story, the Q&A, you've got your poetry pages, um, they're choosing two poems to memorise, one or two, English from the Roots Up, what your root is this week, the modern spell for you to tick off. And then they have got um, Tales from Shakespeare to read as your uh, book to read this week. And it's got a different story every day. And then for another last example, this was week 11. So you've got your workbook pages and your grammar. You've got your review sheets. They, there is review throughout, which I do like, so your spiral uh, method. It's got what books to read this week, extra activities, videos, then it's got your usual writing books and then we've got a writing project the beginning of it so they get to choose whether they want to do the I want a dog opinion essay or I want a cat opinion essay you read the book the first day and then there's different activities each week I'm um, sorry each day of the week to do and then you continue with the project for the next week as well where you're editing um, and making your final draft so throughout there are different writing projects that she has assigned 
Okay, so this is the grammar uh, workbook. So this has got the student pages in and it's also got some teacher information. So I'm just gonna skip to a part that I can show you that we haven't filled out yet. But I'll just show you this one quickly because it's not um, there's not too much personal information on there, but it's so fun in terms of the different way they pre presented activities. So for example, when we were practicing adjectives, you got to make your own little menu um, using uh, words to describe the food and obviously make it sound more exciting. And I just love the way that she's linked certain activities because that makes so much sense and it's fun. Um, you know, how they can actually describe food more interesting, in a more interesting way. It's just fantastic. I really enjoyed that aspect of it, all the different little projects here and there that she's included. So this is an example of what some of the pages look like. So they're all bright and colourful, but so um, easy to read and informative and um, presented in a way that just grabs your attention. I just love the way the dog we dog family we have six dogs but I just love the way the dog interacts and gives them little clues and helps and prompts it just makes it all it just makes it so much fun um and I just think that the worksheets are not too much um but they give you everything you need to so we're in sentence diagramming here let me get to do that own There's lots of little different interactive things speckled throughout. They're not all just, you know, working from sheets the whole time. There's dice cutouts in here that you can do this, cutting out different things, sticking things, drawing things, so many different ways. Then, as you notice, it'll say review. So there'll be different review sheets that they can do. And they also have other review sheets too, where it's on a day by day basis when they do them. Um, they are speckled throughout as well. And you'll just obviously put those into, I, give, I put mine into my daughter's workbox and I put them into plastic folders. I've always done this for her workboxes when it's a, a sheet like this. And then I'll just put them in a day by day basis into a folder so that we know what we're supposed to be doing that day. So these are all the review sheets. That's what they look like. So we've got uh, phrases and clauses here. And then here's um, a little activity for them to do. And you do also get the teacher's manual to go with the grammar as well. And basically you get a little picture of the uh, image of the actual page that they'll be doing that day. And then she'll give you some little extra prompts or something for you to incorporate. So for example, in this one, paste a picture of a favorite zoo animal, use ad adjectives to describe it. So she'll give you some additional things that you could do. You don't have to do those because they're just extra ideas, but they're always useful to have. And then for certain pages, she'll give you more information as to why um, she's done it this way. Um, so I really like that. She's showing her experience and her knowledge. Okay. Another really good part about this curriculum is it's she set it up that you can use it with multiple aged children at the same time so she's got grades two to six and you can just expand on it for the older ones and um, obviously simplify it for the younger ones which I do really appreciate. Now it did come with a huge book list <laughs> however um, if your library's any good which most of them are um, in the US at least um, you should be able to get most of them from your library. I know my friend Natasha from Educational Roots, she was thinking about doing this curriculum at one point and she managed to get a lot of the books from the library. So that's always an option for you. Mine didn't have many of them, so I did end up either buying them used or new. But I, when she actually produces the book list, she gives them ratings as to how important they are. So whether they're essential, you know, good to have, recommended, you know, that kind of thing. So you can decide really which ones you'd like to go with. And she does give you an array of choices. So you don't have to buy every single thing. And certain ones, ones of them I found that I could get um, as a collection, and which made it cheaper. So, you know, shop around, thrift books, Abe. Um, those are all my favorites for used, Amazon used. Um, but yes. I love all the books that went along with it, but here are some of our favourites. So we picked the, she gave you a few different choices for the um, parts of speech. I liked the Ruth Heller ones because I think the illustrations are just beautiful. So I got the merry-go-round. The illustrations in this one are just gorgeous. Um, and I also got the Kite Sail High, a book about verbs. I'll link these below if I can. They're just stunning books. I just love them. 
it's the way that it's all presented. It's really visually appealing. And then uh, many luscious lollipops, a book about adjectives. I've also really liked, and she has too, the How to Draw Cute Stuff book. Um, so it's got all the little step-by-step -step drawings. That's been one of our favourites. The One of the regular books, you'll probably have seen it when I showed you the schedule, is Let's Draw a Story. We have really, really enjoyed this one. Um, so here is the author. So with this one, it's a story that goes through each scene. So it'll continue throughout the, throughout with different um, problems or um, issues that they're having in the story. And then there'll be something that you need to draw in order to help them. It will always give you some hints. So in this one, it's talking about reflections. And then you get to do your actual prompt where you draw. It's, you can trace it on, which it will trace it, but you know, trace what they've already drew, uh, drew. But you can also add extra bit, bits to it yourself as well. And I really, really do enjoy it. It's black and white, but there are, there are some color bits as well. Um, mostly black and white, but there are some color. But obviously, your, ch your child can color throughout too. Um, so here's the final scene. So you get to draw some of the instruments in this one. And it goes through this different different um, prompts throughout and it's just been fantastic we have really really enjoyed this one we haven't quite finished yet um, but we have really really enjoyed this um, we'll be finished by the end of the year though because basically you do a scene um, every week but that's been a fantastic book we've loved that look at my book how kids can write and illustrate terrific books um, this has been a great resource as well and it was for a project a writing project that they had um, in the actual teacher guide uh, so you go through all the different stages. So we've got brainstorming, genres, characters, setting, plan, rough drafts, sketches, title, share, revise, edit, and all the different sections to it. Um, it's just been a great resource to have. We have really enjoyed this one. Um, the opinion essay has was probably so far at least we still haven't finished so we've still got a few projects to go but the opinion essay so far has been our favorite um that we've had to write so we had i want a cat or i want a dog she decided to do her opinion essay on i want a cat and it talks you through exactly how to do it and at the end it shows you their example the child's example of when she wrote it herself um so pet question that she poses her answer to the question um when she's done her research and then at the end you'll see here is her essay um, that she wrote and I just love this 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 uh, idea and this the way they've actually um, developed it the prompt to help the children write it it's just presented in such a way that is it doesn't seem a challenge in terms of it doesn't seem oh it's so hard to write an opinion essay you know, because if you think of the word essay it can be quite daunting um, especially you know to, to younger kids but the way this is presented it and broken it down into such little steps um, it doesn't seem so much of a hard thing to do, um, but you still end up with a really strong piece of writing at the end, as you, you know, as you need to. Um, but it's fantastic. I just really like this idea and this concept. I think the author was amazing. Um, but yes, we have really enjoyed the opinion essay project from the book, uh, from the teacher's guide. And then the girls like spaghetti, why you can't manage without apostrophes. We found this one to be really funny. Um, this I did get this one used. But it was, it's really funny the way they presented it. So you get sensible ideas and then silly in terms of um, if they put the apostrophe in the wrong place, <laughs> um, how it changes the word and how, so you can see for yourself how important the apostrophe is and how it completely changes um, the sentence. So I think that is a really good way because sometimes it, it, punctuation is just so abstract, but when you can actually see it in reality at the time and see the difference it makes, it's really helpful. Um, but yes, we've really enjoyed that one. So my opinions overall on Beowulf language arts and Beowulf grammar, you can buy them separately. I decided to get the package with both of them. I think that um, the language arts uh, schedule and everything else is absolutely fantastic. We have loved it so much. Um, I've loved all the different books and different components that she's used to go along with it. Um, I've really enjoyed the grammar portion as well. I love the fact that there are different activities in here so as it says there are comics the little games activities diagramming you know and more there are the one of the first things you do is to cut out the little box of 
with Beowulf in it that you can use for when you're practicing prepositions and I just think it's such a fun way to learn grammar but yeah it's still really solid as you can see we were doing quite um advanced skills it's not just you know your basics your nouns and everything else um so I do really like the grammar too but I think my overall favorite has been the language arts because of how it's pulled everything together I think if you were to just buy the grammar by itself you would probably really enjoy it but you get so much more out of it if you buy it as a package because um it, you know all the different resources the different activities the video links and everything else are all in the language arts whereas if you just buy the grammar then you're just buying the worksheets really so uh, and a teacher guide obviously so if my biggest recommendation would be if you're going to do the Beowulf to do the whole thing but that's just my personal preference you could do it separately but I think it's much better to just do the whole thing and it's very very cost effective in terms of the actual price for the um, digital versions then obviously you need to print but you know you don't have to print in color you can print in black and white and I only print one-sided because of my printer um, it doesn't do it automatically and it's a pain but you know it wouldn't be as thick as this if you printed um back to back but also this is actually my daughter's work so there's quite a lot of additional things that I've put in here that we've done um so for example for my language arts I just keep them all into the same folder so that's not just all the grammar stuff that's a writing project and other things that we've done so far but yes um fantastic we have really really enjoyed it I'm just sad that there isn't a next one up because if there was I would definitely be doing it next year another another edition this was from second to six as I said and currently she does not have another language arts program but we have really loved her style I love the fact that she gives you lots of choices you can make it your own it's not sort of a you have to do this 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 you can actually you know tailor it to suit yourself and that's how I've done it and we have really enjoyed it so that's the Beowulf language arts and grammar if you've got any questions leave them for me below and I'll try and link some of the books um, that I've really liked below as well so take care see you soon